Nestled along the banks of the Cagayan River, Cagayan de Oro is a city steeped in history and pulsating with vibrant life. It's the Loa Punto Lima Kilometer Rio de Oro Boulevard, once a pragmatic flood control project, has evolved into a major tourist attraction and a testament to the city's resilience and cultural richness. This transformation is more than just an urban development story. It's a narrative interwoven with the threads of history, natural calamities, and community spirit. The Boulevard's Beginnings Originally conceived as a protective measure against the frequent floods that plagued the riverside communities, Rio de Oro Boulevard was inaugurated in August. Funded by the Japanese International Cooperation Agency, JICA, as part of the Cagayan de Oro River Flood Management Project, the boulevard was designed to shield residents from the relentless onslaught of the rainy season. It stretches from Barangay Punto to J, our Borja streets, passing under the Marcos Bridge and Consolation, and intersects with Burgos Street. From flood control to tourist hub, despite its initial utilitarian purpose, Rio de Oro Boulevard quickly became a focal point for city celebrations and tourism. The local government declared it a new tourist destination, prompting extensive clearing operations along the riverbank. Under the bridges and across the river's islets, the task force demolished approximately Tatlongdan shanties and illegal structures in Isla Delta, Barangay Consolation, displacing numerous illegal settlers, but paving the way for a safer and more scenic environment. <laughs> Celebrations and festivals. The boulevard recently hosted the month-long Pasco, the Oro celebration, culminating on December the Lawamput Dalawa, the Lawang Libo at the Lawamput Tatlo. This vibrant festival featured a variety of activities, including a dragon boat festival, street dancing competition, and fluvial procession. Additionally, it served as the venue for the Higalay Festival last August. The festivals brought together religious processions, agro-fairs, photo contests, cowboy rodeo festivals, trade fairs, beauty contests, mall sales, and sports competitions, showcasing the rich cultural tapestry of Cagayan de Oro. The Tree of Life Marker Among the boulevard's notable features is the Tree of Life Marker at Isla de Oro. This poignant symbol commemorates the heroism and resilience of the people during Typhoon Sendong on December Labing Pito, Dalawang Libo at Labing Isa. The typhoon left the trail of destruction with isang libo, dalawang daan at limang putito dead, anim na libo at pitong put isa injured, and isang daan at walong put dalawa missing across Labing Tatlo provinces. In Cagayan de Oro alone, nearly siyang na daan bodies were recovered. Remarkably, at least 50 people survived the catastrophic flooding you were claiming to a mango tree in Isla de Oro. Testament to human endurance in the face of mango tree. Remembering Typhoon Sendo. Councillor James Judith, the project's proponent, envisioned the Tree of Life marker not only as a memorial but also as a recreational spot plans include building a viewing deck around the marker offering a serene space for reflection while enjoying the sight of the Cagayan River and the Rio de Oro Boulevard. This initiative underscores the city's commitment to remembering its past while forging path towards a hopeful future. Historical Significance of the Marcos Bridge the boulevard's construction also carries historical significance, particularly the Marcos Bridge area, which played a crucial role during World War I. The Japanese Imperial Army destroyed the original bridge, marking a pivotal moment in the city's wartime history. Today, the reconstructed bridge stands as a reminder of the past, seamlessly integrating history with modern urban development. A testament to resilience and progress. 
Cagayan de Oro's transformation of the boulevard is emblematic of the city's broader narrative, a story of resilience, adaptation, and community spirit. The initial purpose of flood control has not been overshadowed by its new role as a cultural and recreational hub. Instead, it highlights the city's ability to turn challenges into opportunities. This adaptive reuse of urban space is a reflection of the city's dynamic spirit and its commitment to preserving its heritage while embracing progress. Looking forward, as Cagayan de Oro continues to grow and evolve, the Rio de Oro Boulevard stands as a beacon of the city's enduring strength and vibrant culture. It is a place where history is remembered and new memories are forged where the community comes together to celebrate life amidst the issues of the past. The boulevard, much like the city itself, is a living, breathing testament to the resilience and indomitable spirit of its people, the present and beyond. Today, Rio de Oro Boulevard is more than just a thoroughfare. It is a place of reflection and celebration, a reminder of the city's rich history and a symbol of its hopeful future. The boulevard represents the city's journey through time, from ancient habitation and Spanish colonization to modern-day urban development and cultural renaissance. It is a narrative of survival, transformation, and community. In Cagayan de Oro, history is not just a series of events, but a living tapestry that continues to shape the city's identity. The Rio de Oro Boulevard is a vivid thread in this tapestry, weaving together the past, present, and future of a city that has always found strength in its people and its enduring connection to the Cagayan River. As visitors stroll along the boulevard, they are walking through a living history, a story of a city that has weathered storms, embraced change, and continues to shine as a beacon of resilience and hope in northern Italy.
heart of Cagayan de Oro City, the rotonda stands as a bustling nexus, directing traffic towards four distinct destinations. Divisoria via Vela Street, Carmen through the New Bridge, Tibasak and Makasani, and Nazareth via Thomas Sako Street. This central hub is a microcosm of the city's vibrant and sometimes chaotic energy, embodying the pulse of urban life. Nearest to the circle is the soon-to-be-opened Teso del Rio Mall, a gleaming symbol of modernity set to transform the commercial landscape of the city. Morning rush hour, Divisoria bound. As dawn breaks, the city awakens, and the rotunda springs to life. Vehicles of all shapes and sizes begin their journey, with many heading towards the Visoria through Vela Street. This route is a lifeline for those commuting to the bustling district known for its markets and trade. The street is narrow, and as the day progresses, it becomes bottleneck, filled with mix of cars, motorcycles, jeepneys, and pedestrians. The new bridge to Carmen, a promise of progress. To the north, the newly constructed bridge to Carmen stands as a beacon of progress. Sleek and modern, it promises to ease the traffic woes that have plagued the city for years. However, as with any new infrastructure, the reality is a mix of anticipation and teething problems. The bridge has brought relief to many commuters, but it has also introduced new traffic patterns that take time to navigate. Tibasak and Makasandig, a slower pace. Heading west, the road to Tibasak and Makasandig offers a different approach. These neighborhoods, though still part of the urban sprawl, have a more relaxed pace. The streets here are wider, and the traffic, though steady, is less frantic. Families and children can be seen walking to nearby schools, and the occasional Morning. cyclist weaves through the traffic with ease. Towards Nazareth, the Thomas Sacco Street stretch. To the east, Thomas Sacco Street leads to Nazareth, a residential area marked Iwa its tall buildings and modern structures. This route is often busy, as many residents commute to and from the city center. lined with shops, restaurants, and schools, adding to the daily traffic flow. The rotunda continues to be a hub of activity. The morning rush transitions into the midday lull, only to pick up again in the late afternoon as people return home. The evening brings its own set of challenges, with the glow of headlights creating a web of light around the circle. Traffic enforcers are a constant presence, directing the flow and ensuring that the chills remains controlled. Their whistles and gestures are a familiar sight, and their efforts are crucial in maintaining order. The rotonda is more than just an access road, it is a microcosm of Cagayan de Oro's vibrant life. It connects diverse parts of the city, from the bustling markets of Divisoria to the serene neighborhoods of Makasapi. From the modern bridge to Carmen to the residential stretches of Nazareth. As the city grows and evolves, so too does the rotunda, adapting to new challenges and opportunities.
Tadi cok. Tabuk rin ah. Sa Gayan Province Seaside Boulevard. The new jewel of Makajalar Bay nestled Cagayan Province a stunning new addition to its landscape. A seaside boulevard that promises to be a game changer for local tourism and the economy. This 2.5 km stretch, boasting panoramic view of Makajalar Bay, is not just a scenic road. It is a symbol of progress and collaboration. The boulevard is a result of the joint efforts of the Department of Public Works and Highways DPWH, and the Department of Tourism under the Convergence and Special Support Program. It marks a significant milestone in the region's development, offering a new and picturesque ground for motorists, bikers, and runners alike. A scenic road for all the seaside boulevard is designed to be inclusive, catering to a diverse range of road users. Motorists can enjoy a smooth drive with breathtaking views of the bay. While bikers and runners have dedicated lanes to ensure their safety and enjoyment. This multifunctional road is not just a means of transportation but an experience in itself. The boulevard's design reflects a commitment to providing safe and enjoyable environment for all, encouraging a healthy and active lifestyle among locals and visitors. Boosting local tourism and economy one of the primary visions behind the Seaside Boulevard is its potential to boost local tourism. The scenic beauty of Makajalar Bay, combined with the convenience of the boulevard, is expected to attract tourists from near and far. Local businesses stand to benefit significantly from this experience. Restaurants, caves, souvenir shops, and other small businesses can thrive. Creating job opportunities and stimulating the town's The boulevard is envisioned as a hub of activity, where tourists can enjoy the natural beauty, local cuisine, 
and unique culture of Cagayan province. Convenience and accessibility the boulevard also enhances accessibility to the beach, making it more convenient for both locals and tourists to enjoy the coastal beauty of Cagayan. Families, friends, and individuals can easily access the beach for recreation, picnics, and relaxation. This improved access is expected to foster a stronger connection between the community and their natural surroundings promoting environmental awareness and conservation efforts. Part of a larger infrastructure project, the Seaside Boulevard, is a segment of the larger Lebing Pito Punto Walo Cero Kilometer Gusaikpit section of the Cagayan de Oro Coastal Road. This extensive project serves as a bypass road. Starting from Barangay Gusa on the eastern side and stretching all the way to Barangay Ikpit in Opo, Misamis Oriental. 
Biwa connecting six barangays in Cagayan de Oro City and two in Opo. The coastal road significantly improves the region's connectivity. This enhancement in infrastructure is expected to facilitate smoother and faster travel, reducing congestion on existing routes and providing a viable alternative for daily commuters and travelers. Sunrise can be living on the music can be higher. Reducing travel time and costs one of the most significant oh, benefits of the Cagayan de Oro Coastal Road, including the Seaside Boulevard, is the reduction in travel time. The new route is set to decrease the travel time from Lagindingan Airport to the city <laughs> from <laughs> one hour to just the lower permit. <laughs> This dramatic reduction is not only a convenience for travelers, but also a potential driver for increased tourism and business activities. Moreover, the project is expected to cut travel costs within the region by about a person, providing financial relief to daily commuters and contributing to the overall economic efficiency of the area. Environmental and community impact the Seaside Boulevard and the larger coastal road project are designed with sustainability and community welfare in mind. The construction process has included measures to minimize environmental impact, ensuring that the natural beauty of Makajalar Bay and its surroundings are preserved. Additionally, the project aims to enhance the quality of life for residents via providing better infrastructure, reducing traffic congestion, and promoting tourism. The vision for the future the Seaside Boulevard is more than just a road, it represents a vision for the future of Cagayan province. Dua investing in infrastructure that promotes tourism, supports local businesses, and improves accessibility, the DPWH and the Department of Tourism are laying the groundwork for sustainable development. This project is a testament to what can be achieved mm. through collaboration and forward-thinking planning. The Seaside Boulevard along Makajalar Bay is a transformative project that holds immense promise for Cagayan province. It is a scenic route that caters to diverse road users, boosts local tourism and the economy, improves accessibility to the beach, and reduces travel time and costs. As part of the larger Cagayan de Oro Coastal Road project, it enhances connectivity across the region, contributing to the overall development and 
prosperity of the area. This boulevard is not just a road. It is pathway to a brighter and more vibrant future for Cagayan province and its people.
the Nazareth, Makasandig, Tibasak Boulevard, ay 2.5 km stretch running from Peso del Rio towards the Balulang Makasandig Bridge. It opened on March 2000 at 24. This ambitious project is a key part of the flood risk management project for the Cagayan de Oro River, funded by the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. The boulevard not only serves as an infrastructural improvement to mitigate flood risks, but also promises to be a hub for recreational activities, transforming the landscape of Cagayan de Oro City. The primary goal of the flood risk management project is to address the perennial issue of flooding in Cagayan de Oro. However, the development of the Nazareth, Makasandig, Tibasak Boulevard represents a visionary approach that combines utility with community benefit. This section of the project aims to provide residents with safe and scenic area for physical activities, promoting a healthy lifestyle while enhancing the cities. Aesthetic Appeal Design and features the boulevard is meticulously designed to cater to a wide range of activities. It features two distinct tracks. Asphalt Track This smooth track is ideal for road runners, cyclists, and skaters. The asphalt surface ensures a comfortable experience for users, minimizing impact on the joints and making it suitable for long-distance running and biking. Trail Track Composed of sand and gravel, this track caters to trail runners and walkers who prefer a more rugged terrain. The trail track provides a different running experience, challenging the muscles and improving balance and coordination. These tracks run parallel, allowing users to choose their preferred surface while enjoying the scenic views along the boulevard. The dual track design also helps in managing traffic. Ensuring that the space does not get overcrowded and everyone can enjoy their activities safely. Dile de dónde te dile. Dile de dónde te vas a decir.
the boulevard is expected to become a popular spot for various recreational activities, including walking, running, biking, and even casual social gatherings. Health and Wellness The boulevard provides an accessible and free venue for physical activities, encouraging residents to engage in regular exercise. This is particularly beneficial in promoting cardiovascular health, reducing stress, and improving overall well-being. Social interaction, beyond health benefits, the boulevard serves as a communal space where people can meet and interact. This fosters a sense of community and belonging, which is vital for mental health and social cohesion. The boulevard is also expected to attract tourists, runners, and cycling enthusiasts from other regions. This influx of visitors can boost local businesses, including cafes, restaurants, and retail stores, thereby contributing to the local economy. Environmental considerations The project integrates environmental sustainability into its design. The boulevard includes green spaces with native vegetation, which not only beautify the area, but also support local biodiversity. Trees and plants along the boulevard help in reducing the urban heat island effect, providing shade and improving air quality. Additionally, the flood management aspect of the project ensures that the riverbanks are reinforced, preventing erosion and protecting the surrounding areas from flood damage. The use of permeable materials for the trail track aids in groundwater recharge and reduces surface runoff, contributing to better water management. Challenges and Solutions While the project promises numerous benefits, it also faced several challenges. Funding and Budgeting Ensuring adequate funding for both flood management and recreational infrastructure required meticulous planning and collaboration with JECA. The successful allocation of funds demonstrates the importance of international cooperation in urban development projects.
Construction and Logistics Building Multi-Use Boulevard in a Flood-Prone Area Post Logistical Challenges Advanced engineering solutions were employed to ensure that the infrastructure is resilient to flooding while providing a safe environment for recreational activities. Community engagement, gaining the support of local residents was crucial. Regular consultations and updates were provided to keep the community informed and involved in the project's progress. Feedback from residents helped in refining the design to better meet their needs. Future prospects The Nazareth, Makasandig, Tibasak Boulevard is poised to become a model for future urban development projects in the region. Its successful implementation can inspire similar initiatives. Focusing on integrating utility with community benefits. Expanding the network, there are plans to extend the boulevard further, creating a more extensive network of recreational spaces connected to other parts of the city. This could enhance the overall connectivity and accessibility of Cagayan de Oro. Continuous improvement, the project team is committed to the continuous improvement of the boulevard. This includes regular maintenance, adding new features based on user feedback, and organizing community events to maximize the boulevard's potential.